One year ago, we stood at the very edge of ambition, the south portal of HS2. Then it was earthworks and excavation, the beginning of something vast and subterranean. Today, 12 months on, the view is strikingly different. This is no longer a hole in the ground, it is a functioning portal into one of the most ambitious civil engineering projects this country has ever attempted. In September 2024, the south portal of the Chiltern Tunnel was in its infancy. Excavation was underway, retaining walls were being planted, and the long conveyor system designed to remove millions of tonnes of chalk was just starting to operate. The landscape was raw, temporary road crisscrossed the site, and the enormous scale of the project was only just beginning to reveal itself. At that stage, HS2 Phase 1, the line between London and Birmingham, was officially expected to cost between 49 and 57 billion in 2019 prices. In reality, with inflation and rescoping, the true figure was edging towards 80 billion in today's current money. Even then, the sense of uncertainty hung over the entire program. Fast forward to October 2025, and the transformation at this site is unmistakable. At the South Portal itself, the structures have grown taller and more prominent. The retaining walls define the tunnel entrance. Waterproofing membranes and reinforced concrete have been installed, giving the entrance the character of an unfinished structure rather than open excavation. The muck conveyors are fully operational, transporting chalk spoil away from the tunnels efficiently and continuously. The Chiltern Tunnel itself, all 10 miles of it, has fully been bored. The two tunnel boring machines having completed their monumental task earlier this year. Work now focuses on lining, drainage and preparing for track. Where once the noise of clutter dominated, now the focus is on the system's integration and structural finishing. Elsewhere on HS2, the progress is equally noteworthy. The North Holt Tunnel between Ruslip and Old Oak Common is complete, spanning more than eight miles beneath West London. In Birmingham, the Bromford Tunnel has seen its first bore finished, while the second not far behind. Across the route, some 70% of all tunnelling is now complete, a remarkable engineering feat. And such progress comes at a price. By mid-2025, spending on HS2 had already surpassed $40 billion. Civils alone have cost more than $26 billion. Each purchase totals $3.6 billion. Stations, $2.3 billion. And rail systems, another $2 billion. And the financial bill is climbing. Each month of delay... Each unexpected geological challenge adds millions. HS2's leadership now concedes that the project will not be ready by 2033. Instead, opening is expected on the mid to late 2030s. For a railway originally conceived to unite Britain's great cities quickly, that feels like an irony not lost to the public. Standing here at South Portal, the contrast between last year and today is plain to see. In 2024, we had a site in motion, lorries, diggers and chalk dust. Today we see permanence, concrete walls, drainage systems, fully-fledged logistics, and the unmistakable silhouette of a portal that leads somewhere. Spoil removal is no longer an experiment, it is routine. The tunnel entrances are no longer promises, they are gateways. The transformation is one of substance as well as form. This is what progress looks like, albeit expensive, slow and politically charged progress. It's easy to forget the human effort behind this all. Thousands of engineers, geologists, surveyors and labourers have spent years here, often unseen, often underground. The tunnel boring machines themselves, Florence and Cecilia, have done their work but it's the people who kept them alive, adjusting, maintaining, recalibrating, solving problems as they went. Challenges remain. 
The ground here is unpredictable. Chalk strata with groundwater ingress. Each shift requires vigilance, and the civil engineers yields to system integration, track signalling, power, safety systems. The complexity multiplies. This is when the invisible work begins, when progress is less photogenic but no less vital. One year on, the South Portal is more of a construction site. Its statement of endurance and intent. It tells us that Britain can still build at scale, even at enormous cost and delay. But it also reveals a fragility of ambition when set against financial, political and logistical reality. The next 12 months will see the South Portal transition from civil engineering to railway construction. The track will be laid, systems will be threaded, and the tunnelling will begin to resemble a railway, not just a bore in the earth. And so the story continues, with every metre of track, every segment of tunnelling lining, every wall and waterproof membrane. HS2 inches closer to becoming a railway rather than a debate. One year on, this portal is no longer just the beginning, it is a threshold into engineering, into infrastructure, and into the nation's future. In infrastructure, as in architecture, the most dramatic transformations often happen quietly, one pour of concrete at a time. This here at the South Portal is the proof. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks.